So if you're like me, you play MM2 quite a lot. I play it probably most times in a week. However, there's quite a few things that I don't know about the game since it has been out since 2014. And I thought quite a few me you might not know some things either. So I've got 10 things that you might not know about MM2. Obviously, some of you probably know all of them. Some of you might know a few. But these are just the ones that I thought were interesting and the ones which I've decided to put on this list. Let's get started with number one then. Firstly, did you know that there have been two boxes that have been permanently removed from the game? I don't just mean like a Christmas or a Halloween box where you just can't get them anymore. I mean the knives inside and everything have been completely deleted. No one has them and no one will ever have them. This is the MLG box and the Chroma box. The, well, firstly, the Chrome box does not only have Chromas like the name might suggest. It is um, a separate box. The MLG box was removed for copyright and uh, no one really knows why the chroma box was removed however once the mlg box was removed it was replaced with the chroma box and once the chrome box was removed it was replaced with the rainbow box so if you had one of the old mlg knives you no longer have that and it would have been replaced with one of the new colored colored knives or the shiny secondly did you know that there used to be bonus rounds in murder mystery 2 such as juggernaut but they were removed quite a while ago they weren't in the game for too long but um, Juggernaut and Free For All, Team Deathmatch, it was games like that which would play every five rounds or so, but they have been long removed. I'd like to get them back at some point, they would be cool, but oh well. Did you know that before you could buy it, Batwing was an exclusive knife available to the developers? Nicholas was often seen in games using it, and a few other developers saw it, well, were seen using it as well. But then obviously in 2018, you could buy it for over a thousand Robux, I can't remember the exact price. So many of you know about the uh, cotton candy and the asteroid knives, but not many of you might know how it's obtainable. These two knives are obtainable through the uh, Space Tycoon, also known as No Man's Sky Tycoon. You can buy the cotton candy for 10 million in game cash, and the asteroid for 1 million in game cash, but only once you've completed the tycoon. There was also an unreleased version of the Murder 2 lobby that came with an upstairs elite room. You can check out the game, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to explore the lobby, but this never ended up finding the light of day. However, I kind of wish it would. I thought, I think it'd be cool if you had some kind of an elite room, but that might just be me. This one's probably quite well known, but the Flames Knife used to be craftable with a water orb, a fire orb, godly metal and godly shards. You obtain the water orb by salvaging tides, the fire orb by salvaging heat, Godly Metal by salvaging a seer, and Godly Shards by salvaging any godly that isn't a seer. Once you got all them, you could craft it into a flames, but this was removed in the Season 1 update. Also about flames, the flames knife actually used to be an ancient one, so you could craft it. However, as soon as it was removed from crafting, it was demoted from being an ancient to just being a godly. This was also in the Season 1 update. Everyone should be familiar with the item packs in MM2. You had quite a few, but they've slowly and slowly got more expensive over time. The 8-bit, futuristic and American item packs only cost 899 Robux. The Shadow and Clockwork cost 1,299 Robux. And now the Shop Godlies cost 1,699 Robux. The weird thing is though, is that the old item packs came with a knife, an effect or a gun, and a pet. However, the current ones, despite being almost double the price, only come with a knife. I think Nick should start adding effects and pets back. I don't know, what about you? The Christmas 2015 event is the event that has had the most available godlies, as there were six of them in all that you could get. The sugar and the candy, which you could unbox, then the chill, the handsaw, and the two coloured lugers. Uh, for a comparison, this current Halloween event only has three, if you include the ancients. Finally, there have been multiple maps not released to the game, which most of you probably know about, such as Beach House and Nightclub. However, what you might not know is that there's secret easter eggs hidden in current maps referencing these unreleased maps, such as if you look here in End Studio, you can find an easter egg to one of them. And there's a few more around the map, I'll throw a few up on screen now. And yeah, those are some maps that have not been released but are easter eggs in the current maps. But yeah, those are 10 things you might not have known about Murder Mystery 2. Obviously, there's probably a few out there who knew all of them. But I hope there's at least one or two that you didn't know and you might have found slightly interesting. But if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're doing lots of Murder Mystery 2 videos over the next week or so. We video every other day. So if you're looking forward to that, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a, a day's time or so. So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.